Hey Aquarius, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Um, this should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, it can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends, honestly. All right, let's go ahead and get started. What's the overall energy for Aquarius with love and romance? Yo, yes, come through, lovers. Some of you guys are definitely dealing um, with a crazy-ass Gemini. I'm saying that because I'm a Gemini and I know I'm crazy. Um, what is... Aquarius's partner's energy. What is their partner's or person of interest energy? Judgment. Okay, somebody may be coming back around from the past. How does Aquarius feel about this person romantically? How does Aquarius feel about this person romantically? Ten of Swords reverse. Beautiful. And what is the current situation between these two? Hold on, let me ask again one more time. What's the current situation between these two romantically? Current situation between the two. Oh, High Priestess. Okay, there's big Taurus or Cancer energy. Uh, we also have Capricorn, Scorpio as well. Possible Aries. What's the best potential outcome here for love and romance for Aquarius? And the person of interest romantically. You know, getting to know one another. Okay, awesome. So this could definitely be a relationship from the past. This can be a relationship where there was a level of codependency. Um, or this actually can just be somebody that maybe you've had in a past life. I do feel like you're going to have um, options though. That's, that's what I'm getting. I, I do feel like there's options. Um, and I feel like there is one that is, um, that, that, that's the one that is it for you. That's what I'm getting. And I, I definitely feel like the overall energy for this month for you is being, uh, keeping a very positive mindset, knowing exactly what you want and being thankful for it because there's a level of happiness and bliss that's definitely coming towards you. Obviously, look. The very first card here is lovers. A little more information on the energy for Aquarius. Okay. The moon. One second. Why is the moon here? There's a lot of things that are hidden though. Ooh. Okay. King of Wands. Possibly a Leo, Pisces, or... Um, cancer. I feel like um, there's somebody that's definitely very focused on you right now. You may not realize how focused this person is, or maybe this person isn't uh, necessarily expressing their feelings towards you. Like they may be holding it in. Um, King of Wands, this is Leo, Aries, Sag. It can also be any of the fixed signs too. So Scorpio, um, Taurus or, uh, I think I already said Leo Aquarius, this energy, why is it hidden? Why is the King of Wands hidden by the moon? Why? Why is this here? Because of the chariot. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, the direction that the chariot is moving is the five of swords reversed. Beautiful. Some of you guys may have a Venus in Aquarius. I feel like up until this point, there may have been a lack of sex. Um, and I feel like that's changing. I also feel like there's a level of passion here. Somebody's no longer being petty. Somebody no longer feels like they have to have the upper hand here, especially with that five of swords reversed. Um, I also feel like too, um, somebody may have felt like they constantly had to rebel or like, I don't know, like there is some, like somebody is being very unconventional. I feel like with this relationship and now things are changing. It's like really going back to a place where. Um, you and this person are now compromising with one another. It's a very equal relationship. Um, you and this person succeed better when you're together in a partnership. And I really feel like there's a level of charm here.
that's now circling around your relationship. Which is beautiful. I also feel like uh, for some of you guys, it, it's travel. There's some type of travel here. That's what I'm getting. Or going back and forth. For some of you guys, you may be going back and forth on whether or not you want to be married or get married. How would Aquarius feel about this energy? About the overall energy for love and romance? Clarity, truth, revelation, honor, protection, power. Okay, the sword and the rose. One more time. How would Aquarius feel about this? Savoring the moment. Like you guys are, I feel like, feeling good, ascending. Okay, perfect. You guys are in a place where um, whatever obstacles were going on originally, I definitely feel like you guys are getting over those. I feel like you're learning from whatever happened and now you guys are working together on really expanding together. And this is a new phase. Like I feel like the energy for um, love and romance this month for you guys is it's a new phase. It's also preparing for some type of large union. You know, it's kind of like if you guys had a big blowout, which I can see because this is how you did feel about this person. Um, it's, it, it's like rekindling or renewing it. Like there's some type of transformation, um, as well as a level of growth and possibly like a change of mind or like a change of heart. But for whatever reason, you know, there is a level of faith here with you that, that this situation is coming, um, is coming and it it's for some of you guys somebody may pop up and surprise you and not tell you that they're actually physically coming to see you okay that can definitely happen um because i do feel like there is some type of surprise here and it's just only a matter of time okay your person is judgment this is definitely somebody uh possibly from the past or past relationship I feel like this person is speaking out and they're saying something. What's being said here with judgment or why is judgment here for their person's energy? Okay, seven of pentacles. There is Saturn in Taurus. Um, you know, I feel like what this person is saying is I'm going to wait for you. That's what I feel. It's also too about being very cautious like this person may say hey I, i'm really cautious right now um or i want to take things a little bit slow and i also feel like this person is saying like hey I, I want something that is very safe and very comfortable this could also be about living with one another however i do feel like your partner for whatever reason may be having money trouble or possible debt or there is some type of worry over money and maybe that's being communicated because that is also coming in. You can give me more information on the energy of judgment. Three of Cups, but it is a reunion. It's like waiting for something to come full circle and now there's a reunion. That's Mercury and Cancer. So that's really um, one that could also be enjoying like a glass of wine or water for those of you that don't drink. Um, but it's coming to a, to a place where feelings are being expressed. It, it's very personable. It, it's also too, um, I feel very strongly that there is some type of romantic moment that, that your partner is in. Like this person is kind of in their feelings and their emotions and how they want to communicate that is definitely with the three of cups and the four of wands you know for some of you guys this is communicating in the bedroom so if there was a lack of sex it's now having sex it's no longer waiting for somebody to make an offer like this is all coming together and it's all really good energy your person has good energy Yeah, I feel like too, I feel like whatever happens is very shocking. It's interesting um, because Taurus had very similar energy. So some of you definitely may be dealing with a Taurus 
um, or Scorpio or Leo, that I feel like this person knows what they want and now it's like they're steamrolling ahead. Look, right as I said that, Ten of Pentacles. This person may have also worked out the details when it comes to um, how things are going to work with you. Maybe you pose the question like, hey, how the hell is this going to work? This doesn't even make sense. Like, I don't know how you're going to do this. I feel like this person is very detail oriented with what they're telling you. Also, too, um, this person wants to do the right thing. Their energy is doing the right thing, locking it down, being a family, um, having a sense of security. And really, I don't know. It, it, it's being very detailed oriented about maybe why they love you. How, how, how does Aquarius feel about this time of pentacles? Two of Cups. That's a solid offer. I feel like this person is coming up with very big commitment energy and even the potential of asking to marry or something of that extent, working on building up to that. Look, Eight of Pentacles, Virgo with the Queen of Pentacles, Cancer or Capricorn energy. It's something that they've been holding on to for a period of time and something that they've been thinking about and actually really working towards. Now we have the Ten of Swords reverse. Okay, why is the Ten of Swords reverse here for Aquarius? Okay, the Devil. What's the energy? Queen of Cups. Okay, there's Cancer. Um, how does Aquarius feel about this Queen of Cups? Capricorn, Scorpio, Cancer. How does um, Aquarius feel about this Queen of Cups? Emperor, how does, how does, about this Queen of Cups meeting? King of Cups with strength. Okay. There's that Leo and that King of Cups again. I feel like there was an argument where, um, Somebody may have been very logical and very harsh and straight to the point, very detached, or almost ignoring the other person. And I do feel like there was somebody that popped off. I don't know if it was you or your person, but popped off very quickly on somebody's weakness. And I do feel like there was a sense of hurt here. It may have been on your partner's side, Aquarius, or even on your side, but I feel like it's coming out of that. And it's interesting because how you feel about them is that they're no longer upset or hurt about maybe what they saw or what they read or what they, what was said. And there is a very strong connection or almost like soul tie between the two of you because this person is definitely your comfort zone. And I feel like you have to be very strong or someone needs to be very strong when dealing with this person because this person tends this person is very emotional however I do feel like um they have control over their emotions but they're trying to be strong in that sense like they're trying to not be upset they're trying to come across as very calm and like, you know, whatever's happened in the past has happened in the past and let's just move forward from it. But I do feel like for some of you guys, uh, Taurus or Leo, um, or any of the other earth signs, I do feel like somebody had an option. There was something, there was an option here. And I don't know if they entertain that option Somebody entertained it, and that's ultimately what, what causes Ten of Swords. But there's definitely something here, um, possibly a Gemini, but I also feel like the Knight of Swords is somebody that's saying some type of fuck shit. That's what caused this Ten of Swords. Somebody made a decision very quick. Like, somebody could have said, like, I'm not dealing with this shit. I don't want to be with you. Goodbye. Right. It, it's something to that extent where it was something very quick. It wasn't necessarily thought through, but there was words exchanged or some type of mental fuckery. 
that that didn't go well and i feel like somebody wanted to move on very quickly possibly you um aquarius because i feel like your other person was was very stuck and in a place where they didn't know what to do I'm going to leave it alone now. I'm going to go over to the high priestess as your situation. What's being hidden here? The eight of wands. Okay. So with the high priestess here, I definitely feel like one, this union between you and them, it's, it's already um, written in destiny, right? It's already, this has already been confirmed. This is something where, you know, you're meant to follow this path. And I feel like, there is a level of communication coming in about, you know, wanting a new start, wanting to see you. Um, what's being communicated? Six of Cups. Hey, I want to get back to a place where we can enjoy one another. Um, I want to see you, right? It, it's something very, it's a level of harmony here. This is big Scorpio energy. But I feel like it's something that you've been waiting for or somebody's been waiting um, to have this communicated, whether this is you or your partner. Um, energy of the situation. It, it, but it's waiting. It's like knowing that this is coming, but then also being patient enough to wait for it. Aquarius, or not Aquarius, uh, Aries. This is Aries energy. Because here's the thing. You have the Seven of Cups at the bottom. There's Venus and Scorpio with the Page of Pentacles. You know that there is an offer coming from this person. But the thing is, it's like you just don't know exactly what it is. Or your partner not may not know exactly what it is. But there's something here that they're going back and forth about when it comes to what to offer or what to say. Um... And I feel like this person is trying to work on it. This person is putting together everything or you're putting together, you know, exactly how you want to move forward to give somebody a very solid offer. Look, I have the King of Pentacles at the bottom with the Magician at the top. But I do feel like in this process, there has to be so somebody's ego has to end in order for this, this King of Pentacles and Magician to actually come forward. For this to physically manifest into marriage or into a further commitment, like in order for that to happen, there's something that needs to end. And maybe that's an ending with an Aries or a Cancer, um, possibly a Capricorn as well, or even a Libra, I guess. But there is an ending that has to happen with somebody. Can be a mother or a father of a child as well that needs to end. Um yeah, it, it, it's, it, it's also too, it's expressing somebody, I'm telling you, somebody is hiding something where either they're giving them some information, but not all the information. Um, you know, like for instance, yeah, me and my partner are separated. We, yeah, we were separated. Come to find out, yeah, they're separated, but they're still married. Oh, and they live together, right? It's like leaving out certain details and also sneaking around because there's something here that's not right. There's something that has to be communicated. And, and honestly, like, as much as it hurts, somebody has to do it in order to have um, the ability to move forward. Even if it hurts, it's like somebody has to communicate that. And I don't know who it is over here, but I feel like once that's done, there's a level of abundance that comes in because it's doing the hard thing, but it's doing the right thing. So... As your outcome, we have getting to know each other. And as you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. I feel like you and this person are definitely getting to know one another again on a completely different basis, whether this is a brand new person or somebody from the past. Um, this person you definitely feel like is the one for you. And stay safe. And I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.